Display recent modified date for a table. Another free lesson to help you become a better coder. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Your continued support help make these videos possible. And as always, I thank you all for watching this video. So in this video, we are going to display the recent modified date for a table or any table. Let's see how I accomplish this. Good morning. All right, uh, this morning when I got up, uh, I came across with this uh, Microsoft Access Forum. And um, Massimo had asked how to display uh, a modified uh, date of the table onto the form. Um, the form is on the front end, the table is on the back end, but it is connected to the front end. Okay. Uh, and then David responded. Alright. Um, David responded that uh, that Massimo has uh, he would need to create a, another field called create update uh, add create update timestamp to the table but it will operate for each record see there it will operate for each record in the table and then you will query simply using a max so I don't think that's what needs to happen there that means individual record is being updated right but this is uh, the last modification date of that table not the records so I don't think Massimo is referring to the record all right so yeah so I don't think this is I don't think this is what uh, what he needs to uh, but anyways uh, let's help him out okay um, I think we can get this guy get him to uh, to display the last modified date for the table all right so let's go uh, I'm gonna collapse that we are going to go to our access create a blank table and then let's go to uh, project we're gonna create a new table let's call access sys system object now remember you have to be careful with this I know I mentioned this a lot be careful with the naming convention here if you write system object uh, uh, access system object right here same way access uh, system object here you cannot once you use that as a database name you cannot use that anywhere in your application just remember that okay so this is pretty easy here I think alright first thing I gotta have I gotta have a table to work with let's go grab our table from our project management system all right and project management and I'm just going to grab the latest one right here if you have not been more following me I'm I've been making these uh, videos for the project management so we are up to we are up to module 12 all we want is just this guys right here that's the table all right select that's good now we got all that okay now let's create a table oh 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 
create form design. All we want is uh, all we want is a uh, couple fields here. I'll make this as fast as I can. Copy that, paste, and uh, this will be table name, and this will be date modified. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, name these guys appropriately. TXT table name. txt uh, 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 the yeah, uh, update, update, date. So, and then we're gonna need a button. We're gonna need a button to click. All right, let's get this one. Just yeah. Uh, get get that's it all right this is pretty straight and easy all right you don't have to do any special anything no special item all right all you have to do is just do this the lookup mister and then this first one here is the uh, the field name the field name is uh, field name is uh, update date and we are going to use the ms mx uh microsoft access system so it's m sys objects all right and then we are referring to what is this guy we are referring to the name of the table referring to this table you see let me show you that would be m table name just like that that's all that's all there is to it. See, that's all there is to it. Let's uh, save that as a test screen. We're done. How how simple is that? All right, that's pretty simple. And you wonder, uh, Jack, how do you know how to? How do you know if it's update date? How do you know the field name is this guy? Well, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah, let's uh, back up a little bit here before I go f real fast. If you come in here and and check this out and um, from uh, M, see this guy right here. I'm going to show you. See this guy right here. I'm going to just copy that. Copy. Watch, watch, watch. See what it looks like. See there? We get a whole slew of the stuff. Alright? See there? Yeah, obviously, this one was created just now because we just imported those guys in here. So that's why these are this date. Alright? So now, look at this. We are interested in this name right here. See that? That's the name of the object. Alright. Which refers to this guy right here. Name. See? How do I know that? Because what? Well, yeah. And. See that? Oh, date update. Date create. So let's change that. My bad. Date update. So let's swap that. I know it's one of the other two. I'm glad I went in there. That's it. That's all you have to do. All right. And we are going to actually, you know what? Let's cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and close this guy out. We don't. We're not interested. No in sky. All right. So now we can save. And let's run this guy. And. Um, how about let's do that? Let's uh, let's take out the activity. See there? That's the date modify date, and that's how you do it, Mister. It's pretty nice and easy for us 
getting the last date modified for the form or for the table for any any of them all right you see that's all you do you just do the lookup the lookup all right now let's check out another one let's uh let's look at the project look at that obviously this will be this will be this uh, the date that we created where when we imported this guy in there it was created that time all right so that's why you see this guy the same okay now you say well Jack let's see now Jack my database is not access it's a is the table on the back end well uh, yeah that's that's pretty easy let's open up my SQL SQL management let's open up my SQL management let's let it load let it load all right let's log in it's the same thing all right it's the same thing I'm gonna select this database right here venture works Corey all right now check this out uh, as a matter of fact let me show you maybe I should have uh, closed out the uh, this guy remember I just showed you this guy right here uh, remember I showed you this guy right here select from M sys object Remember this one? Watch. Remember this one? See there? Watch. Um, I'm gonna copy that. Put that guy in my SQL. Paste. I just need to modify a couple things in here. First off, it's not a Microsoft Access, so take that M out. You see there? And it's not a SysOp, it's a SysOps. See there? Just put a dot in there and look. We got all the stuff the same way. Now we just need to filter out what we need. Want where? Uh, let's see this type right here. We're gonna put type equals user defined type. See, all I have you just do. Look, look. That's it. See, I've got all these tables right here. All right, and these guys right here. You see all that now I can save that in the now I can save that in a view so I am going to uh, create a view right click new view close that out paste that booger in there look at that just like that save VW underscore call it table information if I know how to spell All right close that let's go to access let's import that boogie in I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy I'm not interested in that so if you want to do this table you have you can just use the uh, you can just use a D lookup all right however the lookup will not work with a with the link table all right so we're gonna External data, uh, link table. Oops, no, 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 no. Let's try again right here. There, single server. And we're gonna link table, all right? So, that's how we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna do. We're gonna go find my link table file. I, right there. You see there? We just created table information make that an object ID Ta -da! same thing we got it except this guy is called modified date date but you see how we got this back in 2017 all right see that that's how we that's how we that's how we know when the date of this uh, tables were created were, were last updated Alright, so regardless of what record it is, 
regardless of what record. All right, like this guy right here. This is not this is individual record. See, of course, for each record in the table, but we're not interested in each record for the table. We interested in when that table was updated. You see, so ah, uh, where were we right here? So, but now in here, but now in here, uh, all you have to do is just, uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's get that. Let's get that. Um, this one is really quite a little different here. I'm going to create a sub because it's, you know, you, the D lookup works with this guy. Oops works with M sys objects. However the link table is different. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. This is uh it's not that big a deal. Get um update table update date. Yeah. 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 Um uh, that's date. And then just yeah, this is not bad. Bad. All you have to do is do this as record set set or as equals current. Um, you just have to do it this way, just because um, link table SQL Server does not use m m sys objects like I've shown you here you see there that's using different objects so you cannot use the lookup alright so let's get back to our program here so now we say similar uh, if record count then let me if there is anything in there alright and then we're just going to say close out the connection close connection and then set the object to empty or dispose that's it. Now here, I can just do it like this. Uh, get update date equals OS. Um, let's take a look at the name of this guy. This guy is called modify underscore date. See that modify underscore date. date that's it that's all she wrote now these right here will be um, I think we're just passing the name of the table uh, yeah I just realized this will be the name let me let me take a look at this guy just a sec oops where am I I'm dancing like a this guy uh, name okay okay my bad my bad my bad let's uh, let's massage this guy yeah you, you, yeah we would have to do like this select from do dw underscore uh, table in information where yeah where name equals uh forgot about that oh my gosh me table name just like this guy see he's looking for a name right here table name name table name you see there same thing all right now but we are interested in this guy you see we're interested in this guy that guy lives in here. It's a field. All right. So that's it. That's all we need. That's all we need to do. All right. Let's take a look. Control S. Save. Let's see if that works. So now we can just say um, table name. Uh, I'm gonna grab sales person. Yeah. Sales person. Is there anything sales person? Oh, there's no salesperson in there. There is a salesperson. What happened? How come it didn't bring out the 
modify date, modify date, maybe the field name is misspell, modify, you see there, maybe the field name is misspell. Now it didn't bark at us because uh, we didn't use the uh, on uh, on error. We didn't use error handling. All right, so let's try that again. Still didn't do it. Still, oh, duh, Jack. Um, no wonder he didn't do that. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. So, sometimes you're moving too fast. You forget what you need to do. This is why, you know, we forgot to do this. That's it. All right, let's try that again. That's better. You see that? So what happened here? I forgot to call it. Uh, we were just using this same old, and it never found it. All right, but but that's how you get it. So it's nice and simple. All right, it's nice and simple. Whatever table that you need in there. It's in there, it's in that definition, it's in this guy right here. So if we want to find out about the product, about the, uh, about the product, we just type in, uh, when was the uh, product table created or last modified, same. Uh, let's use some, well, they're all, they're all about the same time. The reason being is because, it's because he was, Updated, uploaded in there, but that's how you get it, though. That's how you get it. I want to see if we get anything different. Oh, right here, look at this database log right here. That's got oh, yeah, oh, four, oh, seven. I'm gonna copy this guy right here. Copy this should be oh, seven, oh, seven right here instead of 15. There, okay, so. Uh, so that's how that's how you do it. Uh, who's this guy? Uh, uh, Massimo. That is how you do it. All right. I am going to upload this for you to uh, take a look and uh, just uh, just look at it. It's not that big a deal, and the code behind is different. All right. So if you were to use the access table, you would use this uh, the lookup table. But if you were to use the back end, like I had done here, I created, I created a view, uh, I created a view called vw underscore table definite uh, information. So that's the uh, view that we just created. See that? That's the view that we just created. And then we link it here, all right. And that right there is the same one, and that's what you're looking at right now. It's the same one, but uh, that's how you do it, all right. So it's not a big a deal, okay. There you have it. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.